I have always been interested in color and crafty things, but I didn't start actually creating art until I was in my mid-30s when I started taking adult ed classes. It's just been a fun journey. And now I teach too, so it's been fun. Oh, the park was amazing. Um, and in Lewis and Clark State Park is where I was. Um, there's rocks and logs and uh, trees overshadowing both. And you just, I would walk around and I would peer through trees to see a different view of the lake. And oh, it was just amazing. In the morning, I would wake up and get some coffee and then wander around the park and just look at all kinds of things, all kinds of nature, take all kinds of pictures and uh, visit with people. And then in the afternoon, I'd go take a nap because it was the hottest week of the year. It was like 109 during the day. So thank goodness for a little air conditioner in my little cabin. It was wonderful. Um, and then I would get up in the late afternoon and I would sit outside my cabin or in different locations around the park and just paint. And people would come up to me and it was wonderful that they were interested and it was fun to share. And then I even had some little kids coming up, oh, this is so cool, and it was just really fun to interact. And then I would go inside, and I'd be up until three or four in the morning painting, and just, because there's no distractions, no interruptions, no laundry to do. So it was an amazing opportunity to just solely focus on art and creating it and seeing different things. And so I collected little things at the park, because um, we used them to paint with for the kids piece that we did in the afternoon on the last day. And that was so fun because they thought it was so cool to be able to find like an acorn top and then use that to make leaves in a tree. And it was just fun. Uh, it's really helped me grow as an artist and um, focus on creation um, and then also breaking being able to break down the steps more to be able to teach as I go through the process of creation um, I try to think of it in as if someone came in not knowing what to do how would I break that down and how do I level it out some of it of course mine are a little more complicated than what I would teach somebody um, especially a beginner or a child. Um, so the process of it, breaking it down in my head as I'm going through the creation, uh, really helped a lot in as far as how would I go about teaching somebody who doesn't know anything about the art or the process how to do it. Um, so that helped a lot. And I want to keep learning and keep um, furthering my not only knowledge, but also how I create and what to create. And for a state like North Dakota to be able to have that. Um, I've been so impressed with North Dakota and the fact that they are art focused, where you have some of these bigger cities and bigger states, you don't have as much. So I think it's awesome. And I hope it continues and gets bigger. <laughs>